We're going to go ahead and look at probability. Just to review, probability is ways that work for you over total possible ways. Probability can be done in a couple different ways. Sometimes it's helpful to draw out a diagram. So suppose you had three coins being tossed, and what's the probability of getting exactly two heads? Well, you'd have your first coin could be a head, so you could draw a line also then for your second coin being a tail. Then after that coin, you could have a head or you could have a tail, so you draw two more lines. Then if you had your tail here, you could also have a head or you could have a tail and you draw two lines from that. So these are all your options for two coins, but we have three coins. So from this head, you want to draw in your options of a head or a tail. And then we want to go to this one here. We have a tail, head, then tail, and then we could have another head or we could have another tail. And so you want to draw in from each one of these here in this column, the next one for the third coin. So if you follow this top branch, it's a head, head, and head. So I have that written out here. Follow the top branch, but then come down one, that's a head, head, and a tail. By the way, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for two heads. Or we could have this one, a head, a tail, and a head. Well, that one also works for us. Or we could have a head, a tail, and a tail. That one does not work for us. Those are all the options you have by going on this upper branch right here. So now, suppose we start here and come down. I'm going to come down, do a tail, head, and head. That also works for us. Or we could have a tail, head, tail. Or we could have a tail, tail, head. Or the very bottom one, all three are tails. So we have eight options for us, but three of them work for us, so our probability is three eighths. Sometimes doing a diagram like this is helpful. So consider this situation. Three coins are tossed. What's the probability that they're all heads? Well, we had said up here that that was one way to do it out of eight. So it's one out of eight or probability of one eighth. We also have odds. Odds are somewhat similar to probability. Both have the top being ways that work for you. Now, probability is out of total ways that could work. Odds is out of those ways that don't work for you. Odds is typically written as a fraction or with a colon in between. So let's go ahead and try to figure out the odds that a male is born in 1990 will die before the age of 65. So take a moment, read through this maybe twice, and then we'll deal with it. So a male will die before age 65. Well, it says three out of four males will live to at least 55 or 65. So we want to die before that. So that means that only occurs once. Once out of four ways. Well, that means there's three ways that don't work for us, and that's those that live to at least 65. So it's one out of three. One third, or you can go one to three as a sideways ratio. Looking at the second one down here, same given information, but we want to know what are the odds that a female born in 1990 will die after age 65. So we want to look at females, and it says the chances are 17 in 20 that they'll live to be at least 65. We want to be dying after 65, so that's 17 that work for us. So a total of 20, 17 work for us, that means three don't work for us, so our odds would be 17 to three. Or you could write it like this.